My name is Karen June Tushan. I was born June 1st, 1943 in Hayward, California. I grew up and have always lived and worked in Hayward. Hayward Library was my first and only job for 44 years. On March 6, 1959, I started my career at the library as a library page when I was 15. I made $1.24 an hour. This was a very good wage for a high school student. Some employees working in department stores at the time were making less money. When I retired in 2003 as a lead library assistant, I was making $23.29 an hour. A library page shelved the books when they are returned to the library and helped on various projects around the library. A library assistant made out library cards to new customers, checked out materials to existing customers, and did many of the uh, clerical tasks at the library. The library assistant filed catalog cards when the library still had a card catalog. They also prepared books for circulation. Library assistants also mended uh, the books and other materials when materials came back to the library damaged. Lead library assistants supervised library assistants' pages and oversaw the circulation staff and trained the new library assistants. One of the most interesting people I met through the library was a person I talked to about getting a job at the library. Her name was Gladys Conklin and she was head librarian of the children's room. I learned with time on the job that every child using the children's room was always someone special to Mrs. Conklin. She loved bugs of all kinds and she had a collection of them for many years. She started the children's bug club at the library and wrote books about bugs, insects, and other animals designed for young readers. She had bugs uh, mounted to boards in the children's room at the library for everyone to study and enjoy. On her time off away from the library, she would travel to different areas and talk to children about bugs and nature and share her knowledge on the subject. She was a very special lady in my life and I enjoyed working with her at the library. We kept up our special friendship after she retired. The library was blessed to have her as part of, her, of the staff. Uh, the library has been part of the Hay of Hayward for 110 years. It started in a building on B Street and later a Carnegie Library was built at the corner of 1st Street, now Foothill Boulevard and B Street. The current main library uh, was built uh, with its main doors opening onto Castro Street, which is now Mission Boulevard in 1950. That means the current library building had, has had uh, three addresses even though the building hasn't moved. The Weeks Branch Library in South Hayward was dedicated in Weeks Park uh, in November of 1964. At the time I started working at the main library, it was located on Castro Street, now Mission Boulevard, in a beautiful park. One redwood tree at the corner of Castro Street and C Street was uh, had colored lights put on it for Christmas each year. Another special tree in the park is the Bunya Bunya tree that is located in front of the library by the current C Street entrance. Uh, the tree is 80 feet tall and is a native of Australia. What makes this tree different is the 10 pound cones that are pineapple shaped and filled with sap. It is a very dangerous they are very dangerous when they fall from 80 feet above. Most of the cones ripen every three to five years, usually in September and October. The library built a protective roof so bunya bunya cones would not reach the ground directly. Another unusual feature of the main library park is the California Mission Mill that is located on Castro Street, now Mission Boulevard. The original bell that hung at this location had the mileage from the library park to Mission San Jose, 14 miles, and the mileage to Mission San Francisco, also known as Mission Dolores, was 18 miles from the library park. The original bell disappeared. 
the Hill and Valley Women's Club arranged for a replacement bell to be installed in the park in 1998. The news sign posted on the bell pole in the park mentioned the Hill and Valley Club replacing the bell. One of the things I enjoyed most about my years at the library was the variety of tasks and duties that were assigned to me. Technology ever changing in the library field. During my many years at the Hayward Public Library, we went through many changes in technology used by the library for keeping track of books and other items in our collection. When I first started there, microfilming was the way to keep track of who had what items and when they were due back. Each change in technology meant work for everyone, including the library pages and library assistants. One such change occurred when the library was using the IBM data sort, sorting transaction card system. We needed to change to a larger book pocket. My job was to knife out the old pocket and stamp the old pocket with the message that pocket was in front of the book and uh, glue in a new uh, pocket. We owned a gluing machine at that time and that made the job much easier. When the library, Weeks Branch Library opened in 1964, I was the person who had filed the many thousands of library catalog cards for both the adult and children's card catalogs. Many of the cards used were photocopies from the main library set of cards. In 1983, the library was converting over to a computer system and all of the library items needed, barcodes applied, and information entered about the item onto the computer. The staff worked every morning before the library opened to the public for 40 days to barcode and record the information needed to accomplish this part of the process. Then I would continue this process for the rest of the day on materials being returned to the library. Looking back, I have seen how things like the inventory of library holdings have changed from a manual, simple list of new purchased books on sheets of paper to shelf list uh, cards put in shelf list order to the computer and now to an electronic virtual card catalog. Another example is the fact that with the computer, all overdue notices are generated automatically. This has saved hours of work uh, for in, uh, typing individual addresses on individual overdue notices. Library cards also have changed significantly over the years, changing from a card with a metal insert on it to a simple piece of paper to a card laminated in plastic to the current plastic library card. Library collections have changed with new technology. In my early years at the library, we had phonograph records and both eight and 16 millimeter films to check out. Over the years, uh, the library has seen the addition of music, audio cassettes, compact disc, videos, DVDs, and books on tape and on a compact disc. Some of the other non-book items in the collection for checkout have been Polaroid cameras, sculptures, which could be checked out for two to three months, and pictures, usually art uh, pictures, mounted on wood boards in, adult, uh, in adults and on cardboard in children's. One of the collections that have changed the most over the years is the International Language Collection. We have had books and other materials in Spanish, Portuguese, French, German, and Italian in the adult collection. With the ever-increasing diversity of Hayward today, many additional languages have been added to our collection in both adult and children's. Over the years, many interesting people have come through the doors of the library. During the 1962 governor's race, Richard Nixon and his wife, Pat Nixon, came to Hayward to campaign. He gave his speech in the library park. After the speech, he came into the library and visited with staff. That year, he was running against Edmund Brown, who won the election. One day while working, 
the checkout desk, a young boy asked, what kind of books did that man ahead of me check out? I did not know the titles of them. The young boy said, do you know who that man was? And I said, no. He told me it was Ben Davidson from the Oakland Raiders. Mr. Davidson was a popular player, but was a big man and was very distinguishable, having a handlebar mustache. I wish I could have given him titles because he was so interested in what Ben Davison was reading and the fact that he saw him in the library. For me, one of the most interesting parts of my job at the library over the years was just talking to the customers while checking out books to them and making friends. Many of our customers had interesting stories to tell lives and about their lives and experiences. The diversity of the library customers changed over the years and the Hayward Library worked at changes to better serve the customer. The library held a program called Cultures in Harmony for many years which brought people together from many cultures to share, their, share with others uh, customs and traditions of their part of the world. The library printed information and forms in different language languages to make it easier for the customers to understand the workings of our library. In some cases, their visit to the library was a first-time event. Working at the library over the years has provided me a place to grow and experience the changing world and people. The library is a gathering place for all ages, cultures to meet and obtain knowledge and information and to share everyday life and experiences with each other. Having a place like the library to gather makes California what it is today, a very diverse state.